Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're gonna show you how you can specify CAE solver attributes. To do this, you'll go to the CAE menu and first select your solver. In this case, I have selected CGNS, and I'll click OK. And then from the CAE drop-down menu, you'll notice that I have this option enabled to set solver attributes. Not all available solvers in PointWise are going to allow you to set solver attributes. Only a few of the solvers available in PointWise support solver attributes. CGNS just happens to be one of them. So if I click this option and come into this panel, you'll notice that there is an attribute for the file type for CGNS, and I can change it from HDF5 to ADF or vice versa. Let's go ahead and pick another solver that supports attributes. I'll go ahead and change this to OpenFoam and go back to CAE and choose the option Set Solver Attributes. And you'll notice there are quite a few more attributes for OpenFoam. I can change the cell and face export to export uh, none, sets, zones, or sets and zones to the polymesh directory. I can change the point precision. And if I'm making a 2D grid, I can change how the side BCs are specified as well. And again, all of these attributes are inherited when the file is export to the solver. And this is how you specify CAE solver attributes. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.